Hello? Hello, and welcome to my room. Is that becoming a thing? It has been a good long chunk since I last did a favorites video, so I thought it was well time for me to show you guys what I've been liking the past couple of months. I've been trying a lot of new clothes, I've been watching a lot of movies, and I've discovered a lot of new good music, so let's just get right into it. First up are my fashion favorites. This shirt that I'm wearing right now is my first favorite. I was just in Texas like a week ago. I was so excited to go back home to my little hick town because that means that I can go thrift shopping. Thrift shopping in LA is just super stinky and everything sucks and is super expensive for no reason. So I always wait to go thrift shopping for when I go back home to Texas. When I first saw this shirt at the thrift store, I didn't really know if it was gonna be good or not, but I tried it on because lately I feel like I've been kind of wearing like the same types of clothes for a long time and I just wanna branch want to reach. I don't like getting into the routine of things. It makes me feel like I'm in a simulation. <laughs> because we are in a simulation. I don't know what I'm saying. Once I tried it on, I really fell in love with it. I think it's so adorable. It's definitely something like a little bit different for me. I don't really wear this kind of a shirt, but it makes me feel like Bruno Mars for some reason. I can't explain it. I really love the vertical stripes. I also love how since it's oversized, the sleeves kind of like stick out and make this like triangle shape. And the light pastel colors reminds me of like the Hamptons in the 60s. It's just something new and I really like it. So now that I've tried on a shirt like this, I know that this is a safe bet for me. <laughs> Next up is this Athletic Wildcats t-shirt. First thing I immediately loved about this t-shirt was the really funny weird neckline. It's like double layered for some reason. It just looks so weird and I love it so much. There's something about a ringer tee that just screams nostalgia. I don't know what it is. It just looks so old and amazing. I don't know what school this belonged to, but it's just a really cool t-shirt. You can always count on finding like good things like this in a thrift store. And it's just a classic look immediately. Classic. I adore the primary colors on it. It's like, it's just so me. And I just was, <laughs> I didn't even try it on. I knew it was gonna look good on me. I'd, and I, it does. <laughs> it's a funky shirt. I love it. It's so cool. Last in fashion is this striped blue pajama set. Here's the dealio. I have this pajama set that I love to death and I wear it so often that it's kind of starting to wear down and I really don't want that to happen because that pajama set was given to me by my grandfather and it means a lot to me. He used to wear it all the time. I just don't want it to ever like degrade and disappear. And so I wanted to find like something really similar to that that I could actually like wear the heck out of because there's no sentimental value in it. So I found these pajamas on Amazon. I didn't really know what to expect because you can't feel a fabric when you're buying things online, but these are really great. I love them so much. I like that they're short sleeve. I just think that it's such a cute look and I think that boys should totally wear pajama sets more often. And it reminds me of like hotels. And I've been really into the 60s lately because of something that I'll talk about later. So for all those people who are asking where you can get striped pajamas like that, Amazon apparently, and they're pretty good. Next up are my music favorites. First on the list is the song Belong To You by Sabrina Claudio and Six Lack or something like that. I don't know. S slack? S -s something. Some rapper. I don't know. Sl slack? S I don't, I don't know. I just can't. I've been following Sabrina Claudio since like before she even released any of her own music. I saw a video of her singing on Instagram and I was like, this girl has a voice of silk. She's just, oh my God. She has a beautiful voice. So I followed her and I've been like waiting for her to release music, but I kind of like forgot that she existed because she like really went into the depths of like music and uh, she wasn't posting anything. But then I randomly stumbled upon a video of her singing this song live and it blew my mind. It was crazy. Her voice is just stunning. One of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard in my whole entire life. And when you listen to her music, it just doesn't feel like you're on earth. Like it's just so beautiful. Next up is the song So Sad, So Sad by Varsity. Lately I've been into this like weird, nostalgic, teen, thing music. I've just been really liking 80s music and like indie music and teen, like a mixture of like indie pop. I don't know how to explain it. I made this playlist called Youth Ultra just for myself, but I'll leave a link to it in the description just in case like you want to listen to it to better understand what the Youth Ultra sound is. <laughs> but this song is super like fun. It puts me in like a good mood and it makes me feel like I'm like a grunge singer who like sings in dirty bars and like jumps around and kicks people. I don't know how to explain it. I can't put it into words. You're just gonna have to like listen to it. Varsity. 
listen. Next up is a song Only In My Dreams by the Marias or the Marias or something close to that. This song was very graciously handed to me via a commenter. Thank you so much whoever commented this song because it's so beautiful. The first time I heard it, I got like chills all over my whole entire body. It's just so beautiful is the best word to describe it. It's just so like scenic and really makes you feel like you're in a movie. Like I play it super, super loud on my walk home at night. It's stunning. Last of the, okay. Last up is the song Listomania by Phoenix. I've known this song for a long time. I used to listen to it every single day on the way to school with my friend Gus. This song and also 1901 by Phoenix. But I recently rediscovered it because they like some of their new music popped up in my like Discover Weekly. And it's just such a dang good song. I've been listening to it a ton. It's also on the Youth Ultra playlist, so it's like in that weird like indie pop teen rock. I don't, it's just no, no category. Puts you in like an infectiously good mood. It just like makes you wanna like skip down the road. And it reminds me of good times. Next up are my entertainment favorites. First is the movie I, Tanya with Margot Robbie. This movie was crazy. I watched it in theaters with my friend and I was like on the edge of my seat the whole entire movie. It was crazy. It's based off of a true story about Tanya Harding, the first woman to ever land a triple axel in competition. A triple axel is like this extremely, extremely hard move to do in figure skating. For a second, can we just talk about how like insane figure skating is? I've been watching the Winter Olympics and it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> there, It's like a magic trick. Margot Robbie plays Tanya Harding in the movie. She does such a good job. It's like, you can see her having like a mental breakdown. There's this massive scandal in the movie where some competitors get very, very hurt. It's just such a gripping story and I can't believe it was real. And the acting is just stunning. Next up is the movie Lady Bird with Cher- Saoirse Ronan. Cherisa? Saoirse Cher Ronan. My name's Sarsha. Saoirse Ronan. Something like that. My name's Saoirse Ronan. It's spelled insanely. I don't... I've been watching a lot of movies in theaters lately and this one definitely stood out. It's basically a coming of age story of this person who lives in Sacramento, which is like very suburban. And she's like just about to graduate and go to college and she's like experiencing new things. It also has Timothy Chalamet in it. Anyone who lives in a small town or just like a dead town will totally understand all of the experiences that she's having in this movie. And it was just beautifully shot and super, super well played. It was just amazing. Next up is the show Mad Men. I've actually seen the entire show already, but recently, I got sick, like I do every month. I don't know why I get sick so often. And so I started re-watching it because I didn't have anything to watch and I forgot how good the show is. I haven't seen it in like a couple years, so I've forgotten everything that happened in the show and it's such a good show. Basically, the show follows this advertising company during the 1960s. One of the most incredible things of the whole entire show to me is the set design and the costume design. Everyone just looks so amazing and beautiful, just such a pretty show. I like take screenshots of it all the time just because all the actors and like their hairstyles and like their mannerisms and everything is just so interesting. It totally like sucks you back into the world of the 1960s. The show was like super sexist and like super racist and homophobic and terrible, but that's how the 60s were. But I will say, even though the 60s were like this terrible time for humans, they had good fashion. I've just been super into like 60s fashion lately. It has John Hamm in it, which like, John Hamm. And then it has January Jones in it, which is like, January Jones. I mean, and it also has Kiernan Shipka in it, which I love her to death, and Elizabeth Moss. The cast is just so good. It's definitely like a bit more of an adult show. It's not like super funny or anything like that. It's just more like a drama. It's just so interesting to me, especially because like their whole job is about like selling things. It's just really interesting how much advertising has changed the world. By the time you've watched like a couple episodes, you fall in love with the characters and you're like rooting for certain ones and like want to murder other ones. Oh, the actors are so good. It's so good. Watch it if you haven't and if you aren't afraid of death and sexy times <laughs> and drugs and alcohol. If that's enticing to you, then watch it. <laughs> also just like beautiful cinematography and just really interesting like social perception. It's just so, oh, so good. I could talk about it forever. I and I have been talking about it forever, so I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Last are just some of my random favorites. First is my Polaroid. Y'all have definitely seen this Polaroid before. It is a Polaroid 600 land camera. I got it a very long time ago. Maybe like a couple years back, I found it at a thrift store and I just 
bought it because it was cute. It was like five bucks or something. I really doubted it worked. The reason why I never like really tried to see if it worked or not was because the film for it is extremely expensive. It's like 40 bucks for like 10 photos because Polaroid stopped making this size film, the 600 film, like 20 or 30 years ago. But very recently, Polaroid re-bought the patent and started making 600 film again. And it's pretty cheap. It's like 15 bucks. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it and see if this camera even works. And it totally does. It works. And the photos are gorgeous. Since it's pretty old, like there's these funny light leaks that show up and the colors are super distorted, but I love it so much. I can't believe it actually works. I got this for like $5 at a thrift store. And it's just been something fun, something new in my life. It's super neat. Very cool. And the very last thing on my list is my coffee machine. I recently decided to treat myself and get myself something a little bit unnecessary, but I just wanted it. I really wanted a coffee machine in my apartment because so, because some mornings I really want coffee, but I don't feel like putting on clothes and like looking like a presentable human. But I want like good coffee, like espresso or like lattes and stuff like that. So that machine's real fun. It's been fun for me. I know that like the Nespresso machines are a lot more popular in Europe and Keurigs are a lot more popular in America, but I definitely like European coffee more. It's been fun for like me and all my friends. I keep like inviting them over and we just like make coffee and sit and talk in my apartment. It's definitely been making me enjoy my apartment more. The other day, me and my two friends came to my apartment really late at night and made breakfast for dinner, which was like, so much fun and like one of those memories that just cute we made pancakes and like drank coffee and, and watched the first episode of the bachelor because i've never seen the bachelor before crazy show i can't handle it. it's a perfect show to make fun of i very rarely like buy things that i don't need whenever i spend money it's always like camera equipment or like laptop stuff but it's just one of those things i was like i want it and so i got it <laughs> that is everything on my list i hope you enjoyed like always if you've had any favorites lately please put them in the comments below because i get a lot of my favorites from what you guys put y'all have fantastic taste so bless me with your knowledge thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in a couple days with a brand new video god bless and goodbye